Hello Internet, and welcome back to Skyrim. My name is Zenny Pator, and welcome to my channel. Last time we were given the order... Well, given the order at least. We were supposed to talk to Amand Montier, and he in turn told us what his ultimate plans were. To kill the Emperor. Looks like now we're starting off with killing off his cousin instead. Just to get things going. Okay, that's funny. Of all the stuff I've done in Solitude, I haven't officially gone inside. Oh, alright. What the... Oh. It's up here. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? Sit back and enjoy the ride. It's almost getting downright hot now. <laughs> they can't hurt Uncle Rogvir. Tell them he didn't do it. Right, and this time Positions. I know not to stop this. Sorry, you need to go home. Go home and stay. Get on with it, traitor! Some gate guard you are! Typical Imperial rot. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land. You know its people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about us. Nothing! Oh, I know enough. A marriage of both love and political advantage. A rare thing indeed. So far, I just hope things remain calm. Wine gets drunk, tempers flare. This may be a joyous celebration, but it's shadowed by a lot of animosity. Oh, you have be no well. idea. I pray for solitude and my husband. Dominion were invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them. Preserve our own way of life. My point exactly. Did I? Yeah, I wasn't even counting. Okay. Ah, there you are. A marriage of both love. If you and want my opinion, I think they should have paid for an entire quartet. Plenty of. I am, thank you. I do so enjoy singing at weddings. It's just one of the many duties we at the Bard's College are called upon to perform. Right. Yet you can't sing. Okay. My nephew, the Emperor, too busy to attend the wedding of his beloved. We Honored guests, for this I just wanted to take this time to thank you all for being here. To thank you for sharing this wonderfully happy day with us. And my new husband. <laughs> uh, let's have some fun, shall we? These days, it seems there is dread everywhere, whether it be war or dragon. Dum -dum. Victoria! No! 
someone do something? I let you live. Astrid ordered He's... me to keep an eye on you. The bride has been there? murdered. Somebody help! What was that? Since when has he been here? Son of a I can handle myself, thank you. I mostly deal with petty thievery and drug and brawls. Been too long since we've had a good bandit raid. Well, that was way too easy. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> his soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Kay. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. <sighs> well... Think of this guy's name. Your latest exploit certainly has the sanctuary talking. You must be talking about the caravan job. But really, a hawker, some twine, three wood elves, and a hatchet? Points for creativity, if nothing else. You give me too much credit. For how could I fail? I am, after all, just a little girl. What threat could I possibly pose? <laughs> All right. You die. You're annoying. What? Dreary, dank, and dimly lit. Truly. A sanctuary to call home. I can't remember your name, and it's driving me crazy. Dear sister, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. She did. What are the details? With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, his security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Moro's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. Yes? To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future, 
It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Hmm. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snap. Father, you worry too much. I'll be fine. I know you will, but all the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert, and when you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I am. Dad, are you being paranoid? I'm inspecting. When the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything could go wrong. Off with you now. Well, that'll come in handy for future reference. Good to know. And good travels. Farewell, Father. Don't even I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. Let me go snag his little schedule. Trust me, we have nothing to say to one another. Citizen? You must be lost. The tavern is down the road a piece. Don't suppose you'd enchant my sword. Dull old blade can barely cut butter. And the irony is, if I could actually do so in the game, I would. But, yeah. Let's see where it says he's gonna be first. This is Lordus, so... That discretion. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her what people. Time? What say you in your defense? Okay, whatever. Smart woman. Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Town, eh? Here for the fishing, I guess. Oh no, I've got bigger fish to fry.
equally incompetent. Lucien Lachance. Not impressed. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. <laughs> but say you in your defense. You've got a literal arrow stuck in your face. Yikes. Smart woman. Lucian Lachance. I can't believe that escaped. Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Gaius Morrow is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the Sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Just try to relax, Vizara. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The Jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, old friend. You're back. Damn it, this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. Your enemies will soon know Such as? The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. <laughs> oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Mm, he's Look, not wrong. We've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. What do you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, I'll... Search Cicero's room. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Perhaps we should find... Bested by a fool. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Spoiler Vizara. warning, I'm you not gonna brave. actually kill this clown. He comes in handy. The Keeper is a sacred position. Within the Dark Brotherhood. Ask yourself, do you trust the wisdom of our... Lady. I will kill this jester if you so desire, but 
there is a disturbance in the void. Old father does not want Have you found something? Yes, his journal. Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? Mm, looks like we're going to Dawnstar. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. What do you know about the Dawnstar Sanctuary? Actually, hang on. Hold that thought. I'm gonna end this one here. Or... Hang on, just a second. Yes, I was right. It's time to end this one. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Zanipator, out.